You'll see it. Yeah. Hello. Is this it? I don't know. You tell me. It's live. Okay. Yeah. We're live in my studio here in Holyrood. And uh, this is Lisa Guthrie. Mm -hmm. So uh, we made Art. a textile <laughs> version of my painting, Blowing in the Wind. And we've been working on it since April of last year. Mm -hmm. And now it's done. It's our baby. Our first child together. I know. <laughs> we make really good peanuts. <laughs> so uh, we thought we would go Facebook Live. It was all Lisa's idea. Yeah. It was Lisa's idea. Yeah, I love stuff like this. I have a gun held to her head, <laughs> just like off to the side. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but she did agree to do this because she's in town. So Lisa lives in Collingwood, Ontario. Hello, where... Collingwood. Hi, Collingwood, where we used to live. And we met there, and I discovered your wonderful hand doing skills. Mm -hmm. And then we agreed, like at some point in time, that we would do a project together. And I have always loved textiles, and you're into textiles. Absolutely. So it was like, all right, let's just work on something. And we haven't done that before. No. So this was our first time creating something like this together. Project. Yeah. But it won't be our last. Uh, someone says something. Hi, Maureen Hako Bishop. Oh, you guys cute. are so cute. We make good parents, don't we? Yeah. I've been waiting. Valerie Mercer. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Paula Tessier. Oh. <laughs> Cool. Look at all the hearts. Oh my Thanks God. for the hearts, everybody. Fun. Do people do that anymore? Yeah. Not cool. So no, it's probably cool. Uh, so Lisa has been a friend of mine for 10? 15? 15 years? Long Maybe. time. Long time. Yep. Yep. And I think we've always admired each other's skills from afar and definitely close. Definitely. <laughs> She's like, yep. get off of me. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so this was a labor of love. We didn't really know what we were doing when we yeah. started, but um, it seems to have worked out. Yeah, it's been super fun and I could not envision it when Pi was first describing what we were going to do. I'm like, sure. And I just couldn't vision it until the end, until the end. And what I like about Lisa is even though she couldn't envision it, she was in. Oh yeah. So that's why we're friends. Exactly. Good part of it. Yep. Yeah. Um, so tonight we are going to reveal what we have been working on and it's been sent back and forth between Newfoundland and Collingwood. Yep. So we'll tell you the stories about that stuff. Um, so I guess before we go any further we should show you what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ty, can you grab Blowing in the Wind off my wall in the oh, gallery? Right. Please? And then we'll tell you who else is in our studio. It's Lisa's hubby, Ty, also my good friend, and Besh's good friend. And Besh is here as well. He's our technical guy and moral support mm -hmm. and bartender. Hello. Holly McDay! Hi, Ev! Are you with her? Probably, hopefully. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's the lovely mm -hmm. Ty McDay. Mm -hmm. So we recreated, we decided to do a recreation of my painting, Blowing in the Wind. This is it. It's probably one, uh, probably my most popular painting. Holly, mom sends hugs and kisses. Oh, uh, love you, Ev. <laughs> love you, From Holly. From your mom. Nice. Oh my, check out. Oh, I know. Tina Marie, oh my God. Gail, Cupids, what are you at? Uh, so we um, decided to do this piece in particular, and we had no idea how much work it was yeah. going to be. I think had we have known, we maybe wouldn't have. Probably. I don't know. Like, I actually thought for some reason that this was going to be kind of simple because it was pretty straightforward. Mm. Yeah. There are many pieces. Look at all those pieces. And a house. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Gina, watching from the college. Oh, oh you're amazing. at work. Hi, Jean Greeley. Jean Ooh. comes to everything. Oh, nice. Yeah. Thanks, Jean. Love you, Jean. Yeah. So this is a painting we cre recreated, and we made it up as we went along. Like I said, we didn't know what we were doing, but Lisa can sew and is creative and can hear my 
many words and then put them together into some concise format that turns yeah. it into something real. Yeah. We learned along the way of what we would do different next time as far as the pattern making goes and just the whole process of what was, you know, lessons learned, what we do different next time, what we will do different next time, hopefully. Yeah. At least I would love to. Oh, we will. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe we'll tell them at the end of it, the next one we may do. Yeah, right. So I guess without further ado, we are going to show you the textile version of Blowing in the Wind. <laughs> All right. Da -da 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 Thank you, Ty. Oh Welcome. <laughs> Wait. All right. Are we ready? Yeah. Let me get it. One, two, three. Ta-da! A gander. <laughs> so this is it. Uh, am I mobile? No. A little bit, yeah. A little bit. Here, I'm gonna show you up close. Mm -hmm. See all the fun bits. Yeah, right. So this is it. This is all. We'll go a bit closer. Here it is. A hundred million hours of work. Yeah. But all fun, which made it worth it. It's very tactile. Very tactile. Mm -hmm. Boops. Loops. Loops, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> and we'll tell you all the stories sort of about the different fabrics. I'm gonna go in closer to the clothesline. Check out every little piece of clothes. Look, little jeans and little flip backs. Da -da -da -da. I won't tell you whose jeans these are yet, but he may be in the studio. Da -da -da -da. Plaid shirt. What clothesline is complete without a plaid shirt? And that's wool, isn't it? It it's is a wool. Lovely, thin wool, beautiful. Yeah, it's got good feel. This whole piece has good feel. Yeah. Pants. We left some flappy bits so that it really looked like it was blowing in the wind. Different fabrics. This one here is oh. soft as all get out. Shirts. Da -da -da -da. We'll talk about Lisa's sewing details that make this piece what it is. Fringe. The grass is the best. The grass is the best. Made from fringe of a pillow. Who knew you could do that? And look at the rocks in the background. Yum, yum. Mm. Yum. Crazy sky. We'll talk about that too. And look at the wave. Mm -hmm. Tsunami. What do we have over here too? House. I think the house took us the longest. Yeah. Even though it looks like one solid mass, it wasn't really. Mm -hmm. It was a fair amount of work. <clears throat> okay, let's get back up on here. I think I'll put it here just because it's a bit closer. Yeah. Yeah. I found back there it was kind of far away. All right. Okay, let's talk. <sighs> okay, so we started this, okay, yeah, April 2018. Yep. And when I was here, I came here for a visit. Yeah, right. We started in Newfoundland, which is a great place to be born. Yeah, no kidding. Mm. <laughs> it's as if you were. Yeah. Uh, can you turn down the music? Yeah, down a bit? yeah please. And uh, so we started it here because you came semi with the intention that we were going to start on this. Yep. I think as you were kind of coming here, I came up with the idea sort of like, oh, well, what are we going to do? Yeah. <laughs> it's time to pick something. Yeah. And so we picked that painting. Actually, I'll have that print again, Ty, just now to show the, the two of them. Thanks. Mm. Here, I'll give you a comparison. Cool shot. Can you see that? Mm. Painting. Textile piece. Lisa. <laughs> so that's the painting there. What else do we have there? Joanne Miller. Hi. So we started this piece here in the studio. Yep. And uh, so the first thing we did was, did we cut out the pattern first? I think so. I think so yeah, so we had an idea of relative size when we went shopping. So the awesome thing about that I love about this is it's all 
recycled material that I had, the thrift store had, you had some. Yeah. It's all material remade, remade reused, repurposed. Yeah. Which is fantastic. And it was fun to go shopping. We went to Previously Loved on Kenmar Road, which is my favorite secondhand oh, store. Um, and we went there with our plan. We had uh, sort of a map made out of the painting. Which you'll see, I think later you'll see the, the puzzle pieces that we made. And right. it was quite the exercise in like each one of these elements is a separate piece that's got to be cut out and traced. And yeah, and placed. layers decided and which one goes first, what will look better, yeah. how to attach it, what kind of stitch. Yeah. And we kind of had to make all that up on the fly, mm -hmm. which was fun. Yeah, a lot of decisions. Yeah, and you're great with technical and mm -hmm. as well, I like going, that one, that one, or that one, and you'd be like, that one, and mm -hmm. then it would just yeah. sort of... A lot of that was you too with your background, so I don't have an arts background, so I never learned, what is it, light will bring it, so an object closer to you, yeah. and if it's a darker in tone, it'll be... So that stuff I didn't know, so I learned a lot watching you. Um, make all the little decisions that had to be made throughout this whole process was so cool and I learned a ton and another thing I learned is watching you just look and spend a lot of time just looking and I guess imagining the different variations and me watching you <laughs> it's cool yeah it's very uh, interesting to see how what your artistic process was and yeah, right. all the decisions that had to be made that's funny, I don't realize how much I look at my pieces, but same thing with paintings. <clears throat> Once I get part way in or, or and then all the way done, yeah. I'll just stare at it for yeah. hours. Yeah. I probably even sped up the process because I because I was watching you and sharing <laughs> <laughs> three hours of that and you might be like I'm out Let's of do here. Something. Throw a sewing machine at me. Yeah. <laughs> So oh, that's neat. Yeah. And it's always, I've never really had a studio mate. Yeah. So that was also the process. fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, actually, before we go any further, we should have a Cheers. toast. Yep. Let's put this in here. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers to you. Cheers. Thanks for this. Thank you. To you guys. Boom. Hope you guys have fancy drinks and fancy glasses since we're in the studio tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. <laughs> Every time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. <clears throat> so thanks for hanging out with us in the studio this evening. Mm -hmm. um, I was. Should we show them maybe yeah. the process? Yeah. If you guys want to see the, uh, we took some shots as we went along. So I'm going to show you the beginning. Um, the so beginning. The nuts and the bolts of the process and the details. For okay. No. How's this for a double technical? Yeah. <laughs> Swiping. Okay, this is when Lisa came to town. And of course we went to the Duke for beers and fish and chips like everybody should. Oh, whoops. Okay, let's get this back in. Reverse. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, so I have a coloring sheet of Blowing in the Wind. So we took the coloring sheet and we made that our, uh, what do you call it? Our Legend pattern. or pattern? Yeah, yeah, template. So this is what we used to get started. So we just started, we numbered every single piece. And then we went to Previously Loved on a very windy day. Yeah. Clearly, we didn't post this for... <laughs> our hairdos. <laughs> so we went and we hunted around, we went rack by rack and we discussed each particular piece and what we thought um, would be good tones and it was actually also an opportunity for me to do the painting really. If you had a chance to do a painting a second time you would maybe change some things so I made some adjustments between this one and the textile piece. Uh, this was us in the living room. This was just laying it all out just to see what kind of direction we were going to go in. Do you want to talk about what the base is? The yes. The foundation piece that we found. Which made it all that was the way easier. Yeah. yeah. You tell them what that was. Well, it's shower curtain. And so this is, and it's this shiny green. Actually, I think it's a drapery panel. Is it, or um, not a shower curtain, sorry, a curtain curtain. Yeah. And it's got rivets 
somewhere. But no, yeah, I think the grommets are over there, which we'll big, show you after. Yeah, and that we found right in the beginning. Yeah, we were there for hours, but that was that and the pillow. Yeah, which is this fringe and this fringe, and from there we were. Yeah, we were off to the races. Yeah which was excellent. And this actually saved our life because if we didn't have that solid base, yeah. it would have been way more stretchy sloppy and yeah, stretchy. Sort. Yeah. So this is like a, yeah, it's, it's not stretching. So it provides the whole base to the whole thing. The foundation yeah. of it all. Which on our next piece, we will do that the same way. Yeah. Yeah. One solid piece and then everything on top of it makes it just more structurally sound. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Drapery panel. All right, so to the living room to sort it out. Mm -hmm. And then some more sorting. So looking at the piece, this is a greeting card that we used as our reference. Uh, and lay it out in the living room. This is here a little more organized. So looking at each piece, maybe we'll use this with this. And at first we were just going to do one layer for each of the clothing items. But instead, we ended up going with a double layer, which made it cooler. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is us getting our projector out oh, right. with big, ugly laugh. I don't think I meant to include that picture. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> so we put up brown. Uh, I got a big roll of brown paper and uh, we projected the coloring sheet. After we printed it on a transparency, we we projected it onto the brown paper and then with a black sharpie we drew it all out Besh helped get us set up oh yeah the projector we had didn't work so then Besh hooked us up with his old military projector that he said we would one day use <laughs> which i was like get rid of it get rid of it and then we didn't and then we used it so it was great <laughs> eat my words mm. So drawing it out with the black sharpie, it was really cool. I loved the pattern part of it. Yeah, that was really fun. Geeky. Yeah. And then after we made the pattern on the brown paper, we numbered them again to match the legend that we had done or the pattern on the coloring sheet. So then we had our coloring sheet as our main, and then this, which is going to be eventually cut up for a pattern, had all the numbers to match. And we would be way better at our numbering system next time yeah. too. Yeah. We now know how we can be more efficient. <laughs> there it is. That's Lisa doing details. Some pieces we uh, actually did a second pattern because there were many layers to it. So those are some of our extras. Oh, is that a movie? I don't even know what this does. Oh, wow. It's moving yet. Uh, into textile art. Just wait for it. It's a rejig. Recycled oh. fabrics. Oh good. And I didn't swear in it, which was great. <laughs> <laughs> so then we started with our pattern pieces and started looking at the fabric that we had to see how big a piece we needed for each individual item. Then we got them out. Mm, Look at so the fun. pieces. Wasn't that good? Yeah, the little jeans. I know. Oh, the jeans. The jeans. Mm. I think the jeans are probably our favorite part. Yeah. Well, well, we'll talk part. about that. Yeah. We'll have to like do top five. Yeah. yeah. And so we worked on it like every day that you were here, yep. we worked That's on it, it, right? Between hiking. Yeah hiking and hanging out and yeah. maybe a nap. I don't know. Actually, probably only I nap. I don't think Lisa naps. Do yes. You? Oh, we both nap. So this is the piece we were reproducing. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, that's a time lapse. Oh, that's lots of time lapses. Oh, that's us in the studio. Of course, we celebrate the end of each studio session <laughs> with a beer, not during. Da -da -da -da. Oh, time-lapse videos. Oh yeah, you gotta love those. Well, that's a lot of them. <laughs> that's Lisa sewing. Hold on. More video. This was our layout in the studio. Nice sewing machine that my mom gave me. So this is our pattern, laying out the fabrics. 
Mm. <laughs> Hold on. That's us being cheeky. Some details. Oh, back to the Duke. That's the end of that little slideshow. Oh, right. Just so you can see the beginning of it. All right. Where were we? Um, so that's how we developed it. I really liked uh, the pattern pieces really got me going. Yeah. Um, I think what we had done, we didn't actually take the pattern pieces with us to previously loved. No. I think we had worked out relative measurements yeah. based on the coloring sheet. Yeah. And then gridded it up so we knew like that piece had to be at least six inches. This one was at least, you know, that, this, that, this, that. So we had it all worked out ahead of time. It's yeah. very scientific. Yeah, it was. Um, I think it, it was hard to pick each individual item and a lot of the fabrics changed. Yeah. Actually, not a lot. Some of the fabrics changed from what we had picked in the beginning. That's right. To what it ended up being. Um, and another tricky part, so getting this base fabric, uh, the drapery panel, was key. Mm -hmm. This was also a key piece. Yes. Because yes. there was a lot of water and we didn't quite know what was going to cover that much. Had to be big-ish. Had to be big-ish. And we were all right with seaming things together. That was fine. Well, this always... She doesn't like that yeah. part. It's not that I don't like it. And it's, it's one of my not. favorite parts. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so straight. It is very straight. And actually, there's another one here because this is a sweatshirt. Yeah, yeah. Like a lady's it's shirt. And it's the whole middle yeah. band opened wide up. And then it kind of had that model-y, mm -hmm. watery look that we were going for. And it's very soft. It is. Yeah, the whole thing is so tactile and touchable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I love the wave too. And we always talk about this wave, oops, this wave up here, mm -hmm. and because it's got such a flop to it, and it, it, if it was actually in proportion to where it is, it would be like a big tsunami wave. Yeah. Like if you saw that coming on the horizon, you know, like, <laughs> like run. It's <laughs> not good, but it looks cool. Yeah, in yeah. <laughs> so. This piece was essential, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. even though Lisa doesn't like that. I'm learning to love it. Yeah, right. <laughs> no. <laughs> and the other thing we changed as well was the sky. That was like a surprise. That was drama. Artistic. Yeah, that was one of the things I'm just like, you're crazy. Yeah. But, you know, trust the person, trust you. Like, I'm such a fan of, of your work. But I'm just like, she's a crazy person. <laughs> we would never pick that, but it works. And it did work. Here, yeah. I'll actually show you that. So we kind of went tonally picking colors. Bonita, I feel like I'm in my grandmother's backyard and looking at the clothes hung yeah. on the line. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's probably why I painted it. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of the same thing. Yeah. It's that sentimental feeling. Mm. So here's the sky, which goes from kind of a creamy yellow into a gray because when I painted this, I did not want it to be one of those like typically sunny clotheslines. I wanted it to be more Newfoundland. <laughs> yeah, more realistic. Yeah, yeah. It's a Newfoundland. Yeah. That you kind of put your clothes out, whether it's gonna, you know, snow, rain, whatever, whatever. Yeah. something, fog. Uh, so we kind of went tonally and when I saw this fabric it just looked really funky and it kind of kicked it up a notch from like photo yeah real perfect. yeah so it just gave it this weird twist that I kind of like it weirder mm. and it's a pillowcase isn't it oh yeah it is a pillowcase lovely soft cotton yeah right mm. and we also had a ton of it with a pillowcase it's amazing you know like the pieces that out. we picked yeah that sometimes we only had like that much to work with like this fabric. Okay, I gotta bring you closer again. I gotta show you. Maybe your favorite fabric? I think so. Okay, I'll take you closer. Yeah. Both me and Lisa are polka dot fans. Look at this little, and it was a little itty bitty baby onesie. onesie. It's super soft. Super soft. Look at, watch yeah. it, watch it flip, flip, flip. Do you want to flip these? Of course you can. Yum, yum. Look at that. And it's here as well. Yeah, that's right. We used it as a background and in that, that one. Is it the window as well? Oh, yeah. It's the window frame over here. Where are we? Right there. 
which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So that one, we really, we used every single inch of it. Yeah. Pretty much. I think we might still have some tiny, tiny scraps. Yeah, it's actually, I think we do. Mm -hmm. In case we needed them again. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Actually, you know what I think I have? something with it someday mm. um, so that was a nice fabric to work with yeah and when we were picking the fabrics for the background um, we wanted something that would fade into the background so we didn't want it to be as bold and contrasty as the front because more detail in the front as we talked about more detail in the front bolder colors sharper this more atmospherically into the back, which would make it, you know, a little hazier. We kept our tones down so that there would actually be some sort of perspective happening. We had it all planned from the beginning. <laughs> all from the beginning. No. <laughs> no. Um, so we kind of put these brown tones back here and sort of the slate grays, which really represents Newfoundland rock mm. to a T. Um, so in the background, this is Lisa's fabric that you had. Yeah. This is your fabric, I think, I so. or yeah, it right. came on something I else. I think it came on something else. Yeah, right. And we got this previously loved. That's the onesie. Yeah. This is your fabric as well. This yeah. feels like a quilting cotton. Yeah, onesie. right. And we had to decide like how many layers we were going to break it into because I mean, we could have done 25 fabrics back yeah, here yeah. and had it all like very detailed. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'd be to like, March It'd be a life project. 2025. Yeah. Before we'd be doing Facebook Live, maybe we won't even. Yeah. Wouldn't, we'd give up. Wouldn't we a thing then? We'd move on to something yeah. else. <laughs> so this was nice. So we also had this fabric in here, which we put in the base. So we just used the fabrics as much as we could without repeating too many times. Yeah. But yet, if the tones were right, we 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 used. Yeah. Yeah. We adjusted accordingly. And even putting it all together was, it's like we had to reverse engineer it. Yeah. So it had to be like, which, which goes on first, because if we layer it over that and this goes over this, then we have to start with that, which mm -hmm. means we have to tack it down here or pin it or yeah. So every single move was like a particular, like strategic. Process. You have to think steps ahead. Yeah. Yeah. And you're also good at that as well. Mm -hmm. She thinks she's not, but she's really excellent at it. Is. And I, like I've, you know, been crafting my whole life, but I'm not used to putting so much thought into a project. Yeah, right. Really, it's just go. Yeah. But then you were also at other times, let's just do it as well. And it wasn't so thought out, but yeah, it was quite the process. Yeah, we had our moments of like, big flow, lots of big things would get done and then yeah. it'd be then yeah. hours before we figure it out and cut and moved and yeah. pinned and so Especially yeah. Especially near the end as we're assembling this part. Yeah. And the house was a long, was yeah. a long time. The house was a long time, even mm. though you wouldn't think it. Mm. But we did actually a lot of detail in this as well. Yeah. Because uh, I had in my mind that I obviously with textile it's going to be a bit folky mm -hmm. which is great and part of sentimentality and history and quilting and yeah nostalgia. yeah like i love all that stuff and you know um but there were fine details that i wanted us to have in it that i knew would make it just like elevated yeah yeah just like a fine folk art mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is fun and i really feel like we accomplished it like when i look at this yeah. i am thrilled i bet lisa looks at it and finds like a few of no. you know the things we could do again i know yeah. you love it i do love it i do brioche yeah brioche brioche brioches so one of my favorite parts of working with Lisa was i didn't even know what options were available available to me when it came to sewing and stitches and like I can sew basic 
you know, I got my sewing machine, I can do pillowcases, <laughs> maybe a buttonhole if the end of the world was happening. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we needed a button. So Lisa presents, so I said, oh, well, maybe we could just find these little, like, ways to tack it on the clothesline and, you know, without, like, doing, like, a full zip, 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 yeah. and just make it look chunky. And so she takes out this, what do you call those hoop things? Embroidery hoop. Yeah. Embroidery hoop with, you know, already ready to go, and she had already practiced all these. It's like a sampler of different stitches and whatnot. And she goes, here, what not? Yeah. look at this. And, I got to <laughs> what not? Get that not and okay. funny people in the audience. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. Yeah, so she shows me this and she goes, "Well, why don't you pick from this what you'd like to have?" And I felt like a <laughs> kid in a candy store. I thought we were just gonna like yeah. stitch like normal people. Yeah. <laughs> but then all of a sudden I'm like, "Well, I'd love that size with that." And then she pulls up big bags of threads yeah. from her own uh, studio and all colors at one point in time when she was sewing i took all the thread out and then i organized them in colors and put them all back into the baggies which is they're still like that by the way it's oh, very handy it was exciting because it was all in a big jumble yeah but mm -hmm. then pulling them out of that jumble was just like oh like a pinata of yeah. threads that's awesome <laughs> i do get excited with that <laughs> yeah so let me show you what I call, and what we now call, Lisa's brioches. <laughs> no, it's not the technical <laughs> definition of them. But when I saw them, they are these little... Where French are they? knots. French knots. Mm -hmm. Which, that's so boring. Look at the brioche. <laughs> Each Ooh. one is pinned, and we picked out the fabric colors. I know, sorry, the thread colors, and Lisa did all the stitching around the edges and like different places where, where are we different places where we wanted it to affix it and we picked every single knot oh hold on where are we there we go look at these two oh. and they hold it to the fabric on the bottom look at the plaid jacket Yum. brioche brioche <clears throat> look 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 at this little flippy. Oh my god. Oh yeah, paneling of the house. Check this out too. Look at these details. Where are we? Oh, there we go. Look. Here's my favorite one. We did a little double, so it's the clapboard nails. Look, little ping, little details. Lisa also did these, you know, hinting at the clapboard. And, you know, if you do, like, full solid lines, it would look very um, too, clean, like too, too obvious? formulated and mm -hmm. obvi obvious. So we did sort of like I do in my paintings with, with clapboard. It's like the lines are intermittent, so it's not so harsh. Mm -hmm. And this here, check out this. This was one of our last pieces. Yeah. Couldn't quite decide what to do for this. So this is the deck out front. And of course we could have just, you know, sewn lines in there and called it a day, but instead we did like fabric underneath and then peekaboo, peek we cut and then sewed in between. I love this a lot. Uh, the screen door. And check this out. Yum. Yeah. There's so much to talk about. There's so much to talk about. Uh, this was a, also a hard choice. Lisa had a wicked selection of the perfect types of buttons for the clothesline. Um, came down to this one. I uh, chose that one because it was just a little more simple and kind of tied in with this. And there was already a lot going on, so went for the simpler button, but there was another one that was a good contender. And it was, uh, it looked like a clothesline wheel. It yeah. had four quadrants. Yeah. Yeah. Tough decision. Mm. It's a rough life, this artist business. And look at this. Yum. This is like a wool I had in my studio. So, like flannel. Yeah. Right. Like a brushed cotton flannel. Besh actually bought that for something he had made. <laughs> um, this is like a, what do you call that? A, it's like a mesh. Like a mesh. I can't remember what that came from. 
just to put another texture in there and we wanted to keep it kind of light because if it was too harsh like a white or something it would just look like I don't know cookie cutout mm. so this was a little more subtle of course with our little whimsy polka dot oh my god <laughs> so delightful and I mean yeah. let me just show you that again look at these little details and there's little brioches holding those open and actually this fabric in the back is these jeans turned around backwards so wherever we could use fabric and it kind of looks like you know the inside of jeans oh yeah right so when you saw those daisy jeans in the previously loved yeah right you squeal from across the store yeah because that's right because this piece here can you guys see that this here is very specific and even when I put it in the painting I wasn't sure it was going to be good and then actually I had to tone it down with the dark because it was too like pow pow yeah lollipop or something mm. so toned it down with the black so when we were doing this right here we had the jeans put there and it was very bright and it was very like polka dot daisies and I kept looking at it and it was like it's just too too much garish yeah it made it look romper room mm -hmm. and so we kept staring at it and Lisa was like you know what do you think maybe we could add something to it maybe and I was like maybe a mesh could go over it like our screen yeah. we were talking about and it was fun actually um brainstorming I'm like, I know I have something in my stash because I have a ton of fabric and I knew I would have something. I'm just like, just verbally tell me what kind of thing to keep my eye out for. <laughs> and um, yeah, I remembered that mesh and I'm like, what, where? And it was in our camping camping box. That's where uh, I should show Ty's face. Yeah. And it was... Um, <laughs> he says it's just his bag. Just holding our camping utensils, but we hadn't used it much. It had like two camping fork and spoon. And it was just this cute little mesh bag, super tiny, and um, yeah, so. And I was even hesitant about cutting it because I know Besh loves his bags. Mm -hmm. And I knew what a big deal that was if it wasn't her bag, but she says it was. It was but Ty says it's bag his bag. It was not in use. Yeah, right. Yeah. And she was like, nope, we can cut it up, no yeah. problem. And I went, okay, well, let's go. <laughs> and then she just went, chop. And. It was perfect. It was perfect. Mm -hmm. And we sewed it down. Just, oh, it was so nice. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, just put this nice, nice filter over it. And then everything just relaxed, which was great. Oh, while we're here, I got to show you this. So this was also an interesting thing because nice. how the heck do you sign a textile piece? Mm -hmm. Like, you can't write on it. Um, oh, we did try some uh, sewing things that maybe we could do our initials and mm -hmm. it was just like it'd be too small to yeah. see it properly and so it wasn't until this piece was back at the studio and um, I had these iron-on transfers so you can print whatever you want on that paper and then iron it onto fabric so I just figured that would be the easiest way to do it. Yeah. And it would be clear to read, but yet small. Look at it, Gillian and Lisa, 2018. And then, so I printed that onto fabric, cut out the circle, and then sewed it onto that piece. And then it was signed. Uh, what else can we show you here? Mm. Oh, let's tell the story. <laughs> hmm. We have a story for you. Uh, these jeans here, do you want to tell the story? Uh, you can start. Okay, this is a very fun piece because these jeans are made from Ty's jeans. Mm -hmm. They were up in Lisa's studio mm -hmm. and uh, we were looking for jean material. We actually had bought a few jean things, yeah. but the jean color wasn't right. Yeah. And then 
we found this. So this is already where Ty's jeans were ripped yeah. at the knee. And they were repair. No, these weren't. Yeah, there was some repair. I think there's a patch oh, yeah. behind there. Yeah, so that's the behind of a patch because these jeans were lovingly repaired over and over until they were just not not repairable anymore. anymore. So that's a true wear hole. Those are all little wear holes. And look, like they where they fall on the jeans. I mean, we did place the pattern to maximize sort of the, the wear points. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked out just perfect. And then uh, this is actually the same fabric as uh, the underneath of this guy. Which is a very scrumptious uh, oh. fine wool. It's like 100% wool, but it's very lightweight and just gorgeous. It's delightful. Mm. I think, I think, oh, yeah. this combination. Yes, I would wear so this every day if it was in real life a real shirt because this is a nice soft cotton and this is a lovely wool yeah and it just i mean look look mm. look how delightful that is mm. yum yum and this here is uh, a pillow that we found and that was right at the beginning like yeah. you said so this was the pillow the pillow front and then this was the fringe from it and all along i was kind of like what are we going to make the grass out of because I didn't want it to just be like cut fabric because it'd be very flat and not so interesting. And I knew I wanted another texture besides just all fabric. And that one really, when we found that, it was like yeah. gold mine. And we had to like double up the layers here to make it, to make it tall enough. So this is like two layers of fringe. Da -da -da -da. It's so nice. Oh. We actually had a little little kid in the studio the other day and he walked up to the piece and just as Lisa and I had talked about he and said you like when you see this you want people to want to touch it mm -hmm. which I mean every time we sit down with it oh, we're yeah. just like poke poke poke, yeah. poke 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 so this little kid walks in not knowing anything and he walks over to it and he was just like he started at that end and he was just like he was that high yeah. and he just starts going touch touch and then my life was complete yeah and he was so interested and he was just like this little yeah, wondrous was, kid mm. and then he was playing with this and and he was so gentle with, with it which was yeah. amazing because yeah. he's only about a year old that was darcy's little mm. little boy Anyhow, he felt every single one of them, and every time he'd come, he'd see one, and he'd look up at me like, "Wow!" And I'm like, oh, "That's good. Wow! You just made my life, little man." Mm. This one here is nice. This has three layers. I think this is a what a pair of undies. In the painting, Maybe? yeah. I think, yeah, I think it's sort of elusive yeah, of what it really be, is, but that's what we interpret it or as as undies. Yeah. So cute. <laughs> Actually, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, it's just kind of an orange smudge in this yeah. one. Smudge. Yeah. Orange smudge. Orange smudge. Even though I think uh, I've had people say, oh yeah, look at the underwear. And I'm like, yeah, okay, okay. sure. Yeah. yeah, it is. See, they are. Of course it is. Mm. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, coastline. So, coastline? Yeah, actually, we already did that. Mm -hmm. This? This is another, actually another fabric of Beshes. And then this in the background, they were hard to pick. Mm -hmm. I felt like different options for that. It took a while to, mm -hmm. to figure out what could go behind all these already um, busy pieces, yeah. potentially, uh, but without it being too boring, mm -hmm. but yet didn't want it to overpower the front pieces. So I don't know whether we accomplished that or not. Mm -hmm. I think so. I think so. And a little corduroy. Like, who doesn't love a little corduroy? Yeah. Which goes all along here as well. Mm. And this darker we put in. Whoop! Make sure I hit my seat. Uh, this darker we put in just to give it a bit of definition. So it brings it forward from this plane and kind of just gives a little snap. And then all the clothes on top of it, then they sit in their own plane. Oh, and also what was hard was figuring out what to do with clothesline. the clothesline. So we could have had a big string that went from like this all the way over to there, because what happens in the painting? Yeah, I actually didn't know until we actually had to make it. 
Uh, can you see? Where is it? I gotta follow it. Clothesline goes all the way across the water there and also goes down along here. But I knew if it was one solid piece, it would just look tacky. Uh, hi, Valerie. Um, so what we did, I'm gonna take you closer again. What we did was we did a hint at it. So we used, oh, this is actually um, Lama, Lama's oh, wool right. from Bay Nadi in Chapels Cove. That's so fun. Yeah, so I went out to her place because I, I knew I wanted something textural. I wanted, like, I wanted it to look homemade. Rustic. Rustic, yeah, like it's been there a while. So I thought wool would be nice. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, well, where would you get like good wool? And I've always wanted to. Uh, stop into Bay Naughty. If you haven't been there, go there. It's really cool. Like she has the llamas. They the mm. shave the llamas and she does it in like the hoopy making wool process. So spinning. Spinning. And yeah. And, and she does like the dyeing of all the all the wool. She's amazing and she's super nice. So yeah, if you get a chance, go see her. So I did and got this wool. And then, so all we did was, we did like little pokes and pops of it all along so that it wasn't like this distracting, very straight line that would really, you know, consume your eye. Yeah, so here, let's go over and show you just the little pieces of wool, which is cool. And then for the top part, we did just a hint of it, clink, and then disappear, which is kind of what I do in my paintings so that, you know, you, you don't end up with these linear lines mm -hmm. that just, I don't know, they distract from everything. So we just decided to, that would be it. Your mind will make up the rest. the rest. That's yeah. right. Leave it up to your imagination. And then it didn't overtake our beautiful blue sweatshirt ocean. <laughs> So that was fun too. So I really like that element that it's the Bay Naughty Llama Wool. Yeah, yeah. Is it al alpaca or llama? Oh, alpaca. Yeah, yeah. Is it alpaca? Is that different than llama? Yeah. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, same thing. Not really. No. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's talk about the the process that we did from. Okay, we started here. Yep in April mm -hmm. and we bought all the fabrics um, we did the pattern we cut out all the I don't know if we cut out all the clothes but we at least cut all the big pieces out yeah and then we got all of this done laid out and secured yeah we had this done yeah not this no no, no. and not clothes and not clothes and this by the way wasn't um, stretched Right now it's stretched, that's the final process, and we'll, we'll tell you how, what's involved with that, but uh, it was flat, so it was just the drapery panel, and mm -hmm. Lisa could shove it all under the sewing have machine. a folding technique, and she'd help me, and you know, just, because it's a pretty big piece of fabric with lots of things going on. Yeah, right, because mm -hmm. this is a two foot by six foot piece, but our actual drapery panel had, was probably like, three feet by more than six feet yeah. yeah and so yeah it was floppy so actually you getting here the other day was the first time you've seen it stretched yeah 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 since we've done it yeah oh we I did saw a photo of it but that's not the same oh we facetimed yeah but yeah that's not the same no not at all so i couldn't wait for her to get here so mm -hmm. i could show her the stretched piece mm -hmm. which really tidied it up oh yeah and i mean it i knew it was real. going to yeah and you know like i've never seen it like Topped, yeah, like that. Um, okay, so we did that much here. Then you I shipped it out to you. Yep. And then we came to Collingwood. Yep. And then we worked on it some more. We put in some good hours. We did on that one. And then you left me with homework, so she'd leave little sticky notes on each, and she'd say she'd draw a tiny diagram and brioche, brioche, and you know. So she left me a bunch of homework, of little, which is great. I love the little handwork and little nitpicky stuff. 
So I did that, I think, while you were still there, or some of it while you were gone? Some of it, yeah. I think you did some while we were there, and then you kept it a while longer after we left. Yep. And then when you finished your Bit. details, then you shipped it back to me. Yeah. All in a nice, uh, what was our... It was a good, just smaller than fat you bastard. Oh, wine, wine box. yeah. <laughs> so every time I get the box, I'd be like, yeah. yeah. With funny. the original pat, like all the pattern pieces and all the little nitpickies and all the little notes and yeah, we have everything still, and then all the scraps of fabric just in case. And yeah, it was all, all in this little package. Yeah, and we had it, we had it done up really. Yeah. Like we were a well-oiled machine by. Yeah. Well, actually, pretty quick. Yeah. And so you sent it back to me. Yeah. Then I worked on it again. Yeah, yeah, you did. No, actually, I stared at it. Right. I didn't actually do anything. I stared at it for a long time. Yeah. And then, did you bring it back? I can't remember. I think so. Yeah. And then we finished all of it. And then I took it back with me. Yeah. After it was finished, it felt way more precious that once we had the finished piece, all of a sudden I'm walking around with this yeah. fine piece of art that I was like, I don't know if I want to ship it now, yeah. even though. All the, the work ship was put in. Tons and, yeah. of stuff and it's always showed up, but yeah. I got this little like, <gasps> yeah. now I don't want anything to happen to it. Yeah, it was yeah. such a time and investment yeah. and labor of love. And yeah, good feelings, mm -hmm. good memories for sure. Absolutely. And we work well together. Yeah, we had fun. Yeah, for sure. And she makes jokes and would like do like funny assistant things like, no, don't beat me anymore. And mm -hmm. I'd like we had to... our own language and you know, Ty <laughs> would come home after we'd been working up, up in the sewing room for hours and we'd be just beep, 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 and he'd be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he'd get the update, the, yeah. the overload update. Yeah. That was fun. Mm -hmm. um, so then when it was back here, then it was all done and I got my framer printer guy, Ken, to make a stretcher that was the size that we had originally planned. Mm -hmm. uh, so he made the outside stretcher, the wooden stretcher, and then uh, Besh got the piece of masonite to go over the top of it, and we air nailed it, now we screwed it all in. And is there, there's batting, is there, there's batting underneath it too. Yeah, yeah, we did, so we did the hard stretcher then a big piece of batting over it as, as well, because I wanted it to be, can you hear that? It's like a boron. Yeah. Mm. It's cushiony. We'll have to play that St. Patrick's mm. Day. I'll bring this down to the start of the scene. Yeah. <laughs> My big <laughs> <laughs> blowing in the wind. <laughs> blowing in the wind. Is there enough room for me in this band? <laughs> 12 of us can play it. <laughs> right. Um, so yeah, I wanted that squishy, spongy, more tactile feeling. Uh, do you want to show the back of it? Yeah, why not? All right, you grab one side. I'll just show you how it looks on the back. Perfect. Right. I don't think I've seen. It. I haven't seen the back. Oh, you haven't? No. Right. Oh, there's the big grommet It may not hook. Yeah, it's we'll pushing on the yeah. front. So this is the stretcher. This is the uh, masonite. Um, you can see the batting in here. I don't know if you can or not, yeah. but anyhow, it's under there. And then Bash, God love him. He was a very patient helping technician. And even when I wanted to like, just fold everything down tidy when we could have yeah. just went bang, 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 bang. Oh, it's gonna look good. Oh, actually we should show this part too. Just look at the, look at the grommets from the drapery panel. Pretty cool, huh? Hi, Jean Callahan Harnett. Thank you. Thanks. I'm glad you love it. It is pretty cool. Anyhow, so that's the back of it. Yeah. And now, uh, while you're here, we're gonna wire it. Oh. And we're gonna hang it in our stairwell. Ah, I didn't know that's fun. So then you get to see it yeah. home officially. It's one thing to see it on an easel, but yeah, it's another true. thing to in place. see it and move it's towards you a little bit. There we go. Actually, I'm just going to move that over a bit. Can you move the plastic over there on yours? Okay. Is that it? Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. we're in. So yeah, so this is blowing in the wind. Um, do we have any 
more stories to tell about it? Like, have we, oh, there's the, how the, the spiral. There's a, we call it the belly button of the piece. Yep. Uh, you, you tell him. It's the logo of the shirt, I think, isn't it? Like, yeah. I don't know where it was, but the sweatshirt has this spiral embroidered logo. Like a swirl. Yeah, like a swirl spiral, you know, the center of the universe, blah, blah, blah. And did it just end up? Yeah. You can feel it somewhere. There it is. You can feel it. It's right about here. <laughs> There's a secret. It's right about here. Secret spiral in there. Right there. Yeah. Yep. Right in the root chakra. <laughs> you that kind of thing. <laughs> the stuff that makes us laugh about yeah. it all. But yeah, you could definitely feel the little nubbin in there, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Nobody will ever see it or maybe or even know. know it's there. Yeah, but if they look for it. If they touch it enough, they will know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, definitely art that is meant to be touched, like you said, which most art, you know, like, and I'm a touchy person, obviously. Yeah. Um, being, you know, that's what I love about textile and fabric is the, the feel of it. And this is a piece of art that you can touch, which is cool because I'm used to, you know, you go to an art gallery and I just have instinct to want to touch the, especially like oil paint where it's like in big gloss. Yeah. Just, and then okay. you get the tap on the shoulder yeah, yeah. from the security guard. I know now. I hate that. I'll have to like, yeah, but this you can <laughs> touch. Yeah. And I figure whoever ends up owning this, I know I'm going to own it for a little bit. Mm. Um, I feel like as, as you sit and look at it, you'll discover more about it. Uh, yeah. Almost like any piece of art, but this one is particularly detailed in its segments. Mm -hmm. And every single piece has its complement on the back of it. So just seeing the, the coordinating fabrics is exciting. And if you're into textiles, fabrics, mm -hmm. even fashion, this would appeal to you. I think just yeah. in the and I mean, there's some outrageous combinations that happen that I'm like, I would not pick that for a painting, but for a textile piece, yeah, yeah. it's just like, it's all right somehow. Yeah. The jeans, I think, are my favorite. Yeah. Okay. Top three favorite parts uh, for you. Uh, definitely grass. Grass. Just yeah. Just because it's so perfect um, and it feels good and it looks great. Do you think we could cut it more or do you think it's all I right? I think it's perfect. Yeah. Oh, we also like trimmed it and chopped Locked it, it and yeah. made spaces so it wasn't this perfect, you know, pillow Square. fringe. Yeah. I love the jeans, especially since, you know, they were ties and then it's got, again, that nice, yummy, thin wool in the background that I yeah. had in my stash forever for, I didn't know what purpose, but, and just that these are his natural wear marks and it's, yeah. And, you know, he lovingly kept that, why would I keep old rotten jeans? I didn't know it was for this, up here. It turns out. And it's almost like justifies your whole yeah. fabric collection. It, mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, you knew you were going to use it. And then the, the onesie, like the, just the best little perfect size dots and it's so yeah. soft and it was just so cute. Gray polka dots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we love gray. Yeah. Together as well. It's true. Gray and polka dots. And it's the perfect white. Yeah. So is that that's two? No, that's three. The grass, the jeans. Oh, the jeans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you, Missy? Oh, I think uh, the signature. Yeah. Right. I love, and because it's me and you, and I get all like, yeah. I get all <laughs> cupcakey. <and laughs> When, uh, when I, it was all done and then it was just me in the studio with it, I just sat there and I, of course, stared at it all for a mm. long time. And this just, I don't know, thrilled yeah. me. Yeah. And the fact that me and you did a project yeah. together is fun. Yeah. Like, who knows if anyone can make shit like that happen. But we actually made it happen. It was awesome. And stuck to it. And across two provinces and, you know, a stretch of time. and. Yeah, it was so fun. Yeah, it was fun. And it was neat to um, work out each other's sort of style, or... style and pace and yeah. we're really good at communicating. Yeah, absolutely. And I like we never had one one like, can you just get out of my way? Yeah. Even like it wasn't even like that. It was no. so easy and it was actually really nice to get lost in the studio, whether it was mine or yours, just get lost in 
fabric and yeah. process and, and we like, can both geek out and when we're in it we were like we're eating you know carrots and hummus and doing like pretty long stretches when because we knew time is precious yeah to right work together and then both of us were the same as like we just want to like work for ten if we were working for 10 hours that's like awesome yeah so we're, it was we're good so in it yeah we we're obsessed with it and then if we weren't actually working on it we were talking about it <laughs> or thinking about it yeah it was great, it actually. Was. It really yeah. made me realize how important it is to block out time to actually get lost in a project. Yeah. Because if you're doing a project sort of in between everything else, it just takes longer. You know, you get out of the game, you got to get back yeah. in the game. But staying in it, we really, we were in it. really plowed on. Mm -hmm. And then we came up with this. And, and you know, like in the beginning, I, I, kind of knew what direction we were going in, but I wasn't like, wasn't like, oh, I know this is going to mm. look just like this. Yeah. So now it's really cool to see it done. It's kind of all turned out. And every single piece was like, decision, decision, yeah. decision, yeah. decision, 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 decision. It was just like one million decisions, mm -hmm. which I guess that is what creating is really. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, working with you know, fabric took a lot longer. Like a painting is, if you want you mix more paint yellow, and, yeah, and you make there's it yellow. yellow. Yeah, all right. You want a plaid? Make a plaid. Oh, yeah. I don't like the plaid. Yeah. Now it's turquoise. That's not the case with That's this. Right. So, the decisions were more like kind of nail it mm -hmm. one time if possible. Although we did switch out. This wasn't the plaid we had originally thought we were going to use. That's right. Um, this is different. Than what I think we thought we were going to use. I think a lot of them, or not a lot, but a few of them are different. Yeah, this is actually oh, no, this is not Ty's shirt. No, no, that was the bunting, like the baby thing. Oh yeah, things. right. And we got the multiple. Yeah, we got one like pillowcase thing, and it mm -hmm. had this cotton plaid. It had this soft. What's that? Fleece. Yeah, yeah. Or soft terry. Maybe? Oh yeah. Terry did it yeah. Me. Uh, and a few other things. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was really fun though. And you had excellent fabric. I had a lot of fabric. Yeah. And it was so fun, just mm -hmm. like these racks, shelves of, and you had them pretty color coordinated, yeah. which yeah, was also um, exciting. Weight, because I had all my t shirts. And I just yeah, remember this right. is our coat. That's why I reupholstered our coach. And anyone who's been into my house, they'll recognize this red, super fray fabric. I've sat on that a lot. That's my couch right there. It's Lisa's couch. And then there's my brother's pillows that I made for Christmas one year. Is that yeah, the right. Yeah. That's fun. Look, brother. Yeah, do. Hey. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of nice that the, the stories from the fabric, that was yours? That was, was that? yeah, that was just, uh, I have scraps of that over the years. I've had that for like 15 years. It's just this beautiful tapestry kind of. I love it. It's got like a linen. Yeah, yeah. It's like a schlubby linen kind of thing. Actually, here, I'm going to show you what we picked. So, this, I don't know if you can see this here. Uh, where are we? Reverse. It's very subtle, and I even forgot they were in the painting until we were actually making it. These are camouflage pants. But when, we, when it came to camouflage, when we looked at some camouflage fabrics, it was like... And the I don't scale know was kind of off too, wasn't it? Like it'd have to be small, small camo, which yeah, which right, exist. pretty much. So we made the fashion decision to take it out of camo, and we went more into like, uh, yeah, what would you call that? Uh, Flowery tapestry. William uh, Morris tapestry. Yeah, yeah. Which made me even happier with little blings of turquoise, because you don't get that in camouflage. Mm -hmm. And look at these yellow flowers. Look. Little knots. Oh, I love those. And look at this, just a little detail of the turquoise thread in there. That's Lisa's handiwork. I mean, just look at these little little shimmies around the neck, which without, without being too obvious, so we really tried to keep it subtle and yeah. That's nice. Good walk down memory lane. Oh, this is a good fabric too. That is a good fabric. That. And then that again is a really beautiful, it's like suiting wool. Yeah. Very thin, fine, gorgeous wool that is languishing in my stash. And this piece reminds me of my sister for whatever reason. Oh yeah, um, you said that yeah, from the yeah, beginning. Love it. Elena. Good combination. 
You're in this piece, Alana. It's kind of neat. Your brother and your sister yeah, are in the piece. And Ty. Yeah, I'm Ty, definitely. Yeah, yes, definitely. <laughs> so, I think that is... Yeah, did you want to talk about this or no? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah okay, let's do it. Yeah. Actually, can you grab that one off the wall, please? Oh, yeah, why not? Okay, so now that we have taken you through Blowing in the Wind, we call it Blowing in the Wind 2, but... Hmm. Does anybody have better name? suggestions for a name for this piece? Yeah. If you do, put it in the comments below and uh, maybe I'll even do like a name that, it's not name that painting, name that Ooh. textile piece. Yeah. So if you have an idea of a name for this, throw it out there and if it sticks, you'll win a prize, of course, <laughs> that I'll make up and come up with it at some point in time. <laughs> All right, so for our next project, and this was actually Lisa's suggestion. Actually, before we were even finished this, she yes. started going, so what are we gonna work on next? And I was like, mm -mm, we yeah, haven't finished focus this. Focus on what we're doing. She's like, I'm kind of tired of this one now. No. Can we just move on? <laughs> I was already getting ahead of myself. It's true. Yeah, my brain like, Let's get together now so we can finish this. Yeah. She's like, I want to do something else. So then it was your suggestion. I think, was it? Yeah. Yeah. To do House ah! on Highway 26. And then we... It was the roof detail, I think, that just I could see in fabric. And do you know what she suggested for this? Mm -hmm. Black lace. Kind of ripped, shredded a bit. But yeah. who knows? Like, who knows? I don't have that fabric, so. She had me at ripped lace. Yeah. So this is definitely going to be the next one. Oh, Debbie J threw up a name. Laundry Tattersalls. Oh. What are Tattersalls? I don't know. I don't know. Thing? It's a good word, though. Yeah. Oh, Nan's Backyard. Oh, oh this will be fun that. to read those. Yeah, throw out title names. Yeah. Uh, Cher. Hi. All the way from BC. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, that yeah. says hi. Everybody says hi. Yeah. So fun. <laughs> Tell Keith we said hi, too. So this will be our next one, so I guess stay tuned. Yeah, it'll only take a year now. It's much more simple and we've learned a lot, so. Yeah, it won't be, and it's not nearly as complicated as that one. Boy, we took off like the, for our first one. <laughs> Start complicated, yeah. get simpler. It's, yeah. it's the way to do it. Sure, that's yeah. what all the books say. Yeah, definitely. Keep it complicated. <laughs> and then everything else is easier. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right? But now I think uh, even doing this one, it's going to be interesting to yeah get the detail yeah, in such a simple piece. Yeah, so right. I think it might be like a flip of this one. Yeah, this one we had to keep simple. This one we may have to get figure detailed. out how to make dimension. Mm -hmm. How are we going to make that grass? That's you. That's some. We shall see. Whippy, I've got ideas. Would be something. Yeah. And that chimney. Chimney. Could that be like red leather? It's gonna be crispy. What is that gonna oh, be? red leather. Red velvet, even that's kind of like burnt out. Mm -hmm. Like it could be. Yes. So we, but we don't know until we find it. That's the funny because it's all recycled. The shopping. We're not gonna get our heads stuck on something that we can't find. It's whatever the universe brings in front of us. That's true. The fashion the fun universe. Part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we love secondhand thrift stores. We're using. We both shop there. Yeah. Like even for our own clothes. Yeah. 100%. So it's kind of neat actually going in there and shopping for not clothes, but mm. like tones and textures. Fabric. Yeah. It was like a different shopping experience. And plus, we we're both thrifty, so there was something <laughs> that was a little too pricey. Mm, yeah. I don't know. Remember the Daisy jeans? They were like a little tiny pair of Daisy jeans, like a five year old. No. Two year old two, girl. Yeah, yeah, like a little yeah. little tiny pants, but they were like seven dollars and fifty cents and we were like, I don't know. And Lisa's like, we have to spend the money yeah. on those. Yeah. And I went, okay. Seven dollars and fifty cents it is. It's amazing how your your scale. Your scale mm -hmm. slides. Mm -hmm. Not yours, but ones. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. As soon as I walk in there, I'm like, What? Yeah. Four dollars and fifty shirt? cents for a shirt? What is Joe? But I love it. Mm -hmm. I'm taking it. Yeah. Yeah. It put me in a mall and 65? Yeah, I like that. It's oh, good. That's why I don't go to malls. Yeah, right. Good point. Mm. So yeah. now maybe on this trip we'll 
Hopefully we'll start Maybe that do one. a little shopping for this one. Yeah, with all the lessons we've learned and Yeah. And then we'll see if there's a left turn in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. right. I'm sure there's a couple of left turns. Yeah. Do you think we'll do do you have any sense of what would be our background? Green, blue, white, can't know. Yeah. We could even oh we talked about maybe because oh know, yeah all sorts of crafts is doing ombre dye fabric so you know you can dye a sheet of fabric by rolling it and slowly dipping it and then you know the fabric that's on the bottom has been in the dye the longest so that'll be the darkest like we could make our own but or we could just challenge ourselves to we have to find it you know we have to buy it it's true in the thrift store i love it yeah i can't wait fun this week coming to previously love near you yeah right yeah okay that's fun all right well thank you everybody for caring to even hang out that's very nice um it was fun to sort of walk down memory lane yeah does anyone have questions is that too yeah. like presenter of me to ask if anyone has questions about our process or yeah. suggestions on anything in particular mm -hmm. okay i'm gonna yeah. come up close <laughs> Oh, sheep, sheep please. please. Good one. Oh my god. That's pretty good. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Way to go, da Gail P. Davis Mercer of Cupids. Yeah. Uh, yeah, does anybody have any questions? I guess I could scroll back up through because we haven't really been All right. reading them, but I think that keeps the conversation yeah. going without checking too much. True. So yeah, no, I think that's it. And I mean, if you have questions, throw them down below. We'll look through everything after we even turn off the Facebook Live. Yeah. And then we can answer anything there. Yeah. Um, so we hope you have a good night. Uh, I'll post some pictures after we get it hung up in my hallway. Oh my God, that's exciting. What the hell? Ooh. Even wiring it, I feel like it's like an ending process yeah. for a piece. Like it's like the final, final. Final, final. And once you wire it, then you just sort of write the name on the back, and yeah. I guess this would definitely be mixed media. I'd say. Yeah. No kidding, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'll post details on it, and over the week we'll we'll have some back and forth hanging. Yeah. Hanging things going on, and I actually can't wait to see it in the yeah. hallway. Yeah. And with our light that shines, it'll be like ah. And it's been in my studio now for two months. Yeah. Maybe more? I think. Yeah, well, I don't know. Anyhow, it's been here a while, so now it's time to move it up and give it its official place until it goes wherever it's going. Wherever it's going. That's right. Mm -hmm. But before it goes anywhere, it's going in my house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. What? Cheers. Yeah. Yeah, right. So cheers. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's been awesome. <laughs> Love you. Oh, I love you too. So fun. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Have a good night. Uh, Real trip to it. Oh, wood slivers. <gasps> oh, oh good God, one. That. Oh, she, Gail even made me an ornament with like driftwood. Cool. Oh, we still have her tree up. I will show her okay. when we go upstairs. Fun. Okay. Good night, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Bye. Bye, Bye Ruth. <laughs>